ladies and gentlemen, five year plans are back. If you're new to Coaster Studios, then you might not know how these work. In these videos, I look at a specific park and talk about what I would like to see them add in the next five years. Oftentimes, parks operate on a five year plan, which means they look at what they want to see done to the park in the next five years. So that's what I do in this video. I make those predictions. This is purely speculation. It's what I would like to see done. None of this is confirmed. And because it's 2016, we're going to be looking at Valley Fair from the years 2017 to the years 2021. But before we start making those predictions, let's take a look at what they've added in the last five years. Now, what's unfortunate about Valley Fair is that they haven't added a new roller coaster since 2000. 2007. By 2017, that will have been 10 years since they added a new roller coaster. That's a long time. And just in these past five years, they haven't done a ton to this park. In 2012, they didn't add anything. 2013 was a walkthrough. 2014 was nice because they added a new family type area with Northern Lights, and it's called Route 76. It looks very nice. 2015 was a Soak City expansion, and in 2016, they're adding Flying Eagles. That's your typical Larson Flying Scooters. And the reason it's helpful to know what they've added in the past is because oftentimes with the past, you can predict the future. So that's why we take a look at that. So let's start with 2017. This was a previously proposed rumor, and I think it's very possible for it to happen. What it would be is another expansion to Soak City. Of course, they expanded it in 2015. This would essentially be a part two. They'd be adding new slides. I'd like to see a tornado at this park or a mat racer. And the previously proposed rumor was that they would be adding a new water park entrance and parking lot. This would be so that you wouldn't have to start at the front of the park and work your way to the back if you want to just start off with the water park. You could park at the Soak City entrance and then go in from there. So the red box is where the parking lot would be and the blue box is where the entrance would be. Now, unfortunately, this would mean the removal of Excalibur. If this were to happen, then expect an announcement of its removal at the end of 2016. And that would hopefully clear up enough space so that they could expand it. Now, on the other hand, if they didn't want to add a separate entrance or parking lot, they could still remove Excalibur and use that space to expand the water park and then save some of that land for future attractions for the dry park. And Dinosaurs Alive has only been around since 2013, yet these are never really popular attractions, so I think at the end of 2017, you could see an announcement of its removal. Now, Dinosaurs Alive is located at the front of the park, so for 2018, if you were to remove Dinosaurs Alive and completely bulldoze the front entrance, you could give Valley Fair a sweet Cedar Fair style front gate like Carowinds or Cedar Point, and you could do it with a B&M invert. This is the roller coaster that everyone wants to see at Valley Fair. It's been rumored for years, it's never happened, it would be a fantastic roller coaster. It could be the world's first hyper B&M invert. And with that land from Dinosaurs Live in the front gate, and then use up some of that land in the parking lot, they could totally fit in a sweet ride. And we know that Cedar Fair considers Valley Fair one of the few parks in the chain that they see a lot of potential growth in. So adding a B&M invert is an investment they're probably willing to make. In 2019, I think we're going to be seeing a thrilling attraction. Cedar Fair has worked with Mondial in the past. I could see one of their Frisbee rides go in. King's Dominion's adding one of those in 2015. Or I don't know if by 2019 they're still going to want to add these, but they could always add a Windseeker. And as to where to add one of these things, I've always wanted to see a flat ride in the center of Wild Things Helix. I don't know if that's actually possible or if there's enough space for it. It also depends on the footprint for this new flat ride. But I've kind of shown you how you could do it. You could easily just add it off to the pathway, and I think it should work. The only problem I could possibly see with that is riders on the flat ride or on Wild Thing losing a loose article and it could hit someone on the other ride. But I think that's a problem that you could have an easy solution for, like putting up a net or something. Now in 2020, I don't think we'll be seeing anything huge. Maybe they'll rip up some blacktop and put in some cobblestone. Maybe they'll repaint a ride. Maybe they'll add a new restaurant, but I don't think we'll be seeing anything major. No new rides, just some overall park enhancements. Valley Fair is not one of the huge Cedar Fair parks, so unlike some of the others, they aren't necessarily adding a new ride every year. And in 2020, I think we'll be seeing a Planet Snoopy expansion. They haven't expanded Planet Snoopy in years. They did add new family rides when they added Route 76, but we haven't seen a Planet Snoopy expansion in years, so I think that eventually in the next five years we will be seeing an expansion to that kids area. So just to recap, this is my prediction for Valley Fair's next five years. 
I think the one that everyone would really like to see happen is what I'm predicting for 2018, that B&M invert with a new Cedar Ferris type front entrance. I certainly do wish all of this would happen. Will it actually happen? I don't know. Predicting the future can be hard. This is personally just what I would like to see happen. So I want to hear from you what you want to see at Valley Fair in the next five years. Make sure to stay tuned for more five-year plans, and I'll catch you guys next time here at Coaster Studios.